students so now we will discuss about female reproductive system now the female reproductive system it consists of a pair of ovary that is ovaries oviduct uterus cervix and vagina now you can see here in this picture there are two ovaries are present that's why I had said you before a pair of ovaries. Then uterus has been shown, fallopian tube which is also called as oviduct, cervix and vagina. Now ovaries, there are two ovaries are present. And these ovaries, they are oval shaped in structure. And they are present within the, ab in the abdominal cavity. And this ovary's uh, main function is to produce egg or ova and also to secrete female sex hormone that is called as oestrogen and progesterone. Like uh, testis was producing was secreting male sex hormone called testosterone. Same way ovaries also produce or secrete female sex hormone that are oestrogen and progesterone. Next is the oviduct which is also called as a fallopian tube and this oviduct they are the, they each are is funnel shaped opening. They have a funnel shaped opening that funnel shaped openings are called as oviducal funnel. You can see here in this picture also finger like structure is there within this uh, fallopian tube portion and that finger like structure they are the cilia. They are lying the funnel they help to pick up and push the released egg or ovum into the oviduct. And they, that means their main function is to carry the ovum from the ovary and to drop it to uterus to reach it to uterus. Next is the uterus. It's a hollow pear shaped muscular organ and uh, this uterus they are connected to the fallopian tube of both side. It's a hollow pear shaped organ which is connected to the fallopian tube of both sides. And the egg development of the fertilized egg it takes place within this uterus. So it helps in the development of the fertilized egg. Next is a cervix. It is the lower part of the uterus. The lower part of the uterus is called as cervix. That helps to the transport of the sperm vagina so vagina it is a muscular tube that is arising from the lower end of the uterus up to the outside and this vagina it receives the sperms and also uh, it serves as a birth passage for the child for the delivery of the child so this is about the female reproductive system. Next is the structure of an egg. Now an egg is also known as ovum. It is a single cell spherical structure. It contains large quantity of nutrients. And uh, these nutrients help in the development of the embryo. So this nutrients, it provides nutrition to the developing embryo. Until it starts uh, getting the nutrition from the mother, this uh, the nutrition is getting from this ovum. So embryo is getting nutrition from the ovum until it starts receiving it from the mother. Next is about fertilization. Now, this uh, fertilization uh, what is a process that takes place within this fallopian tube. So fertilization it takes place within the fallopian tube 
and the process of release of an egg by the ovary into the fallopian tube that is called as ovulation. The process of release of an egg by the ovary into the fallopian tube is called as ovulation. And uh, this process of fertilization, the there's few stages are there. So first stage is the egg showing egg nucleus. So it's the egg that's showing a nucleus. Number B is uh, many sperms approach the egg. Now the sperms that enter the vagina, they swim upwards and they reaches towards the egg. So many sperms they approaches the egg. Next, but out of that many sperms, only many means it's out of million of sperms. Only few reaches to the upper part of the fallopian tube. And out of that only one enters the egg. One sperm enters. So Next step is the nucleus of the sperm approaches and the rest of the sperms, it dies and they disintegrates. So nucleus of the sperm approaches the nucleus of the egg. Nucleus of the egg is already there. So nucleus of the sperm, it approaches, it goes near, near to the nucleus of the egg. And the the rest of the sperms they die and they disintegrate. Then the nuclei of the sperm and egg unite. So the when the nucleus of the sperm approaches the nucleus of the egg, after that they unite. The nuclei of the sperm and the egg unite. This process is called as fertilization. So at first, the egg shows the nucleus. Many sperms they approaches the egg, but out of that only one sperm enters. Nucleus of the sperm approaches to the nucleus of the egg. Other sperms they die and disintegrates, and then the nuclei of the sperm and egg they unite. When they unite, they form zygote which is the basic unit of life and this zygote they moves from the fallopian tube that is oviduct to the uterus where further development takes place. So this is about the stepwise description of reproduction. The sperm and ovum is also given in your book. They fuse inside the oviduct to form a zygote. Then the zygote moves to the uterus. Then inside the uterus, the zygote changes into a ball of multiple cells. That is called as embryo. And the embryo further grows to form a fetus, which is given birth as a baby. So this is about the stepwise description of reproduction. We will be discussing here we had finished this sexual reproduction. Now whatever questions are left that we will be discussing now. Thank you.